Today, I'm going to show you how to add an AI camera to our nav software. You will be needing Navigator Corporate to view all of our AI analytics. And then I'm going to be showing you how to add that camera with the AI to Navigator Client or Control Center. So first, what we want to do is make sure that our Leland camera itself has AI enabled. So you can actually click on this camera plugin and you need to go to the web GUI of whatever camera you want. We go to the AI plugin, which is the top right. And here is just some zone detection. Make sure your AI is enabled. We want this to be seen on our navigator. So firstly, we want to actually go to alarm. Make sure enable object classification is on. Confidence is somewhere around 70. And that person and car are checked on for classification. And then behavior, we want prohibit zone. This is for our V1 series cameras. As you can see, it's tracking all the cars. And then we want to hit apply. So after we have confirmed that AI works on our camera, we now want to go to our navigator corporate. So here, you'll see some cameras to add. We right click on a panel, hit camera properties, and then we want to find a device. This will open up IP scan internally. And we want to find that same camera with its IP address. I believe it was this one. And after you find the camera you want, you're going to want to press this check button over here at the bottom right, the check button. Click check and it will ask us if we want to automatically set up the camera. Click yes and now the camera is added. Now we want to enter in the credentials and then click on video to make sure our device is the right one. Click OK. And as you can see, that is the video we want. Next, we go to Alarm Management. And then we go to Alarm Input Management over here. Look for Ada Behavior Detection all the way down. Check that it's on. Click Options. And here, we're going to want to make sure we turn on the display, the detection zones of ADA, display detected object bonding boxes. Then we can also enable ADA type and filter out the objects without behavior. You may display tracking ID for more analytics if you'd like. I will leave that off. Next, you want to make sure that your confidence level is lower than what we had it at the at our uh, camera. Our camera was around 70, so we'll put this confidence around 40. Next, we want to make sure that we check the correct behavior. And for us, that was prohibit zone. That was our uh, restricted area detection. Next, you want to click here on ADA server slash IP cam. Make sure you check these two boxes, enable ADA detection service and enable watchdog service. You're gonna need those two on. And then, at the bottom here, you wanna have get detections from ADA server slash camera directly and capture complete image. And then after that, you wanna click auto detect IP camera and it should actually change the server IP to the IP address of your camera. And the port number should be this. And then you click okay. 
and then OK again. Click OK again, and then lastly, click OK. Wait for a bit, and as you can see, we have gotten our camera in Navigator Corporates. Now I'm going to show you how we add it on the Navigator Client or Navigator Control Center. Okay, so here we have our client. This could also, also work on Control Center. You're actually going to want to open up IP scan collections. Make sure you run the IP scan by clicking IP scan over here. Oh, and I forgot that you have to remember one thing from Navigator Corporate. So in Navigator Corporate, we need the system settings and we need to go into the network tab here. So at the top, find the network tab. Find your local host name, exactly what your local IP address is, and all the ports is. But most importantly, the name. That will help us identify it in Navigator Client. So now, we go to the client, and that name that we found here is what we actually want to retrieve. So um, I will be going with one of these. These are both IP addresses of my local machine. And I want to actually log into the device. So you actually right click it, hit property. It's going to prompt you for username and password. So you want to type in the, the credentials to get into your nav program. We hit connect. And as you can see, it will show us some cameras. You want to scroll all the way down. Make sure that's all good. Click OK. Now once you sign into it, you actually want to go add this device to a private collection. Here I will need to create a private collection. So I can add a add a group. We'll just name it demo. And then up here we can go ahead and add that device to our private collection. Add to demo. Alright, again we want to connect. and click and here scroll all the way down and check this box that says multiple channels import. Now we can select all the cameras that are on our corporate or you can just choose the one, the ones that you want to, to put on your Navigator client. So here, it's this one over here, our V1 camera. Click OK, click OK. And if we go down to our demo, we see that our camera is added here. Now you just select it and drag. And then in your nav client, you'll be able to see your AI camera. Now important note is that to see this camera, you need to make sure that you have nav corporate running. Because if nav corporate's not running, it will not show the camera. You can also add other AI as well. For example, if this were a license plate camera, just go back into alarm management. Instead of ADA behavior detection, we would go with ANPR detection. ANPR detection, you go into options, as you can see it's a little different, you can set the length of the number plate, the confidence as well, 
And then the ADA server IP cam, this will be the same. Make sure ADA detection and watchdog service are enabled and also get detections from ADA server and capture complete image. Remember to auto detect the camera and you press OK, OK, and OK. And lastly, OK to apply the changes. And after that, you should be done. So that is how you add an AI camera to Nav Corporate as well as our Navigator client.